Yeah, I was under the impression you you all were broken up when he first started dating sex puppy. Well, we had broken up for a day. He was like talking to her like sexually behind my back, like for two or three weeks, I guess. Do you think that he did this to make you jealous or do you think he was truly done with your relationship? I don't think he's done ever because I'm a fucking resource machine. It sucks because I'll never know if he actually cared about me at all at any point. Or if he just used me to eat food and have shelter and not have responsibilities, you know, I don't know. So you said his mother passed away? No, 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 no. His mother, he said she has multiple sclerosis. So he, when he said what he said to me, he was like, I hope you die a worse death than my mother will or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh, I he, see. yeah, it was pretty brutal. You're older than him though, right? Only by like three years. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. he's, he's 30. Oh, really? But he's like super sheltered and like did not get out in his teens. And like, he's very immature in many ways. I mean, everybody is, I guess, to an extent, but he's literally like didn't get out of the house to experience a relationship until like me and Starpaw and fucking um, Dex. Like he doesn't, he's been with trannies like since he's come to Arizona, but that was only for like a year. I don't know. He's just a child. He goes off with uh, Dex puppy. Now, is, is she in Arizona as well? No, they were in California. And I was, so I went kind of crazy because like, you know, narcissist, textbook narcissist, they like to isolate you, right? So basically in my eyes, that's what he was trying to do to me. He was trying to convince my friends not to be my friends. He was trying to act like I wasn't welcome in certain areas that I'd been going to for years, by the way. Also, they were content areas. Like, you don't get to tell me I can't go to a high content area. And so after he doxed me, I got the restraining order on him. And, like, I was, like, willing to coexist and get rid of it. But he was just so crazy. Like, he didn't want to have it at first. And then eventually he was like, okay. And so then we actually got back together that drove Dex puppy kind of crazy for a second until she admitted that she'd just been using him for content. We did this thruple thing for like a day. Um, nothing sexual was really done with me and Dex because like we weren't into each other like that. Yeah, dude, honestly, like so much has happened. And that was just like the last three months because I had my Hollywood Hills sublet like for two months. And I, I've only been out of it for like a week or two. So you, you did have a place at one point? I had a sublet. Yeah, I had a donator that helped me with my car. And I had like literally $7,000 worth of car work in like three months. Um, I had a donator help out with that. My parents helped out. I had my own savings. My donator also helped me pay for a sublet. Um, and it was a really good deal. Like it was such a good deal. It was this big $3 million house that was like historic. And it was in like the um, literally like at the base of the Hollywood Hills. So you could walk to the boulevard, the Walk of Fame, like in 10, 15 minutes. It was so cool. Okay. I wish I could stay there longer. It was a nice place. Wait, what did you have to move out? You can't find a job or? No, because it's a sublet. Sublets are temporary. Oh, I see. Um, and then like to get an apartment, it's going to be, I have to get a security deposit together too. So you don't just have the rent, you have both. And like, that was my big dilemma. And then now I'm just trying to get the rent together. But the, the car expenses have just been crazy. And like, even though I got donations, a lot of the money was my money too. So all the money I made in a lot of, and then when me and Nick got back together, of course, a lot of my money went to Nick, which is super embarrassing, but it is what I just fucking donated to him because he was acting all sick. And you know, he didn't go to the hospital. He went to go get meth. So I, I can only do so much. So he leaves Arizona, and I think he has some charges on him, too. That might have been a reason why he was leaving as well, right? Well, we both left just to go on a vacation. We were both planning on eventually going back to Arizona, and we were talking about having, like, a house in Cali together and, like, kids and stuff. Like, it was crazy because while he was telling me this, he was cheating on me with a 19-year-old and trannies. So I don't know. He's just a fucking piece of shit. I guess. I don't know. 
Well, I mean, everybody's complicated. You know, it, it, I don't really know what his background is like. And uh, he's just very untrusting. And he has a lot of like, well, he's obviously likely schizophrenic. Obviously. I mean. So is that for sure? Because last time you were unsure if it was from the math or if it was actual I think it's both. And the lack of sleep. Um, so he did admit, and there's a clip of it. Kit took a clip of it. In Ohio, he apparently did get unofficially diagnosed as schizophrenic. He was in a mental institution. There's like a clip of it. I don't, I don't know the details because I don't remember it clearly. But if you can find that clip, it might give you more insight. I guess my question is, he left and you're still in Arizona. You chose to follow him out to California. So uh, I'm guessing that oh, you still have. I hate when people say that, though. Like you I still have, like, you still have feelings for him at this point, right? That's why you would. Well, I didn't know. Like I said, like he, I felt like he was isolating me from my friends who were all in California and my content abilities, which were mostly in California. And because I was homeless, I had planned on being in California too. Like, why wouldn't I just be homeless in Cali? Why would I be homeless in the summer in Arizona? Like. The whole, like, she followed him out there. I went out there one time for him. One time. But I had been going out other times for the RV, for content. Um, and then me and Dex kind of fed off each other for content. Like, we, we both knew what we were doing, I think, to an extent. And then you have the whole Dex Mike thing, which is his own demon. And then um, I just didn't really want to be involved in the RV anymore. 